Hi, I'm Tony Quiroga, and this is Window Shop with Car and Driver, the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, staffers, contributors, and friends gather to look at cars on the internet based on a challenge. This week's challenge is to look for $20,000 convertibles. Now that spring is here, what's up, Pearly? That was 30,000. 20,000. <laughs> you gotta read the email. Don't worry, we'll be back. Well, he had the day wrong, too. The car you found that's worth 30 is probably only gonna sell for 20, so. <laughs> Thank you. <Okay>. Anyway, $20,000 convertibles now that spring is here. The convertibles are coming up on the market, so um, we decided to take a look. Uh, we're joined this week by uh, editorial director Joe Brown, who's here for the Hello. second time. Uh, contributor John Perley Huffman, of course. Contributor Jonathan Ramsey and Deputy Testing Director Mr. Casey Caldwell. Pearly, you want to hit it first? I do. Well. First of all, I want to start off with a warning, which is this is uh, this happens to be one of the worst cars ever driven, which, <laughs> which people may want to drive, which is the Cutlass Supreme convertible. Had no structural integrity, terrible engine, <laughs> just awful. This is a terrible, terrible car. Do not That's buy this car. Red cam one. That's I rode to Cedar Point in the back of one of those once, and it was fine. These have like 220. Wait, you were, hold on, Casey, you were like 16 or 15 then? No, I was, it, well, I mean, I think this was, it was probably like an. Oh, is that a HUD? Two. It does oh, have a yeah, HUD. I see that. Yeah, that doesn't count then. But you know, this, this car, the, the, the problem that drives me nuts about this car is I actually like the way it looks, but everything else about it sucks. Wait, wait this is half, you said you had a $30,000 car. Yeah, and why are you talking about this and car? This is, this yeah, is, thank you. I just, I just, it's a warning. It's a warning. Don't buy this car. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I was thinking Myers Manks, which is a car driver has a long history with Myers Manxes, starting with this cover back in this is what 67. And you know, I think that we should have to have more covers with women in pajamas on it. Are, and, uh, pajamas? Yeah, that, was, that's contemporary. Is it really okay? Well, I don't know. I, I wasn't around in 67 like you, you blew were. the budget. I can see that already. This is what I found. I found a 19, I wanted, I found a Myers Manks. Wait, is that uh, is that really a Myers Manx? That's a real Myers Manx, I think. Okay. I'm not sure if it is, but it's it's the body is very accurate for Myers Manx. <laughs> Wait, you're not sure? It's authentic. It's authentic Myers Manx money. Uh, yeah, because I that, that I don't know if that's real Myers Manx. They would normally say so. That I think it's just a Wait, VW. Doom the buffer. thing is, this is this is the the real Myers Manx is I think are you know they're all the knockoffs that have a genuineness because they some did so many knockoffs, and uh, but the. <laughs> And a lot of the Myers Manxes are going just for stupid money these days, like you know, forty, six, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Go through the photos. Okay. Just, I mean, it could just be. Photos. I mean, it could just be whoever is selling this. Uh, yeah. Doesn't I'm know. Not... Like it's like the title. The registration says Volkswagen, right? Right. So right. It's, a, it's a VW. Like, Sixty-five VW. Okay. So I don't know. In the background there. And this one, this one's, this one's just cool. I mean, I like the SSs. I don't like the tires, but I like the SSs. The the, the uh, engine has that. You know. Uh, little cover on it that's kind of cool and it's got the good t good headlights that looks seriously loud pearly yeah and that we, would make and that would make my hoa so happy we had a uh, <laughs> this isn't is this road legal because a lot of them aren't yeah this i think so this yeah. one looks, pretty, looks legal it's got headlights and tail lights and turn signals but no but it's got no plates or places to mount a plate there's a place to put on a plate right here yeah it's right there yeah right there. And mm. and you know it's I, I it's perfect for Santa Barbara where I live. I what don't know if I told you that I live engine? in Santa Barbara. What engine yeah. is it? This I know is it's a, a this, VW engine, but is it a sixteen hundred, twelve? I think it's a sixteen hundred. I don't think it, you know it's 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 obviously had you know it has it has fins on it, and it, the, so it's been changed somewhat. But I don't think it's anything radical. What's the list window shop there? bingo is already off to a hit. We got we got Pearly doing two cars, and he's mentioned Santa Barbara. I've not mentioned the Tundra until just now when I mentioned the Tundra. And his HOA, his HOA is a oh, new Oh, HOA, car. yeah, we got bingo. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, and I like these teardrop taillights, I think they use instead of using the stock, uh, you know, the VW taillights. And it, I think it's a, and the, the dash has a nice little finish to it. It's, it's a neat little car. And uh, what, I mean- What's the listing say? Yes, thank you, Jonathan. Keep him oh, on track. Jonathan, why do you have to go back to that? It says it's a, it's a salvage it, title. <laughs> of course, well, they're all salvage titles. I know. I'm come on. Yeah, and uh, you know, this is it's just, it's got an MP dual carb, MP intake. Uh, you know, it's mm. it's, it's got. What it's was got, the cartoon character that was a dune buggy? Speed buggy. 
Speed buggy, yeah. Speed buggy. Was that yeah. Wacky Races? No, no that was the, the spy, was Spider-Man had a dune buggy too. Uh, yeah, but Speed Buggy was a standalone character who yeah. actually had his own his own TV series. This looks like Speed Buggy. Does look just like Speed. I should have brought. I should have had a Speed Buggy to go to, but I don't. Um, I think it, I like it. You know, I, the good thing is, is, you know, Bruce Byers passed away this year. Yeah, just recently, and he was a great guy. I wrote about him. Larry Webster wrote about him. Uh, we've all been able to, you know, everybody. It, he was he was a total stud. Jumped off the back of a burning aircraft carrier during World War II. Uh, invented the, basically invented the dune buggy in industry. Wonderful storyteller. Been married like eighty four times, and uh, just yeah, he's a cool guy. When I test, we tested that together, Pearly. I tested yeah. that car uh, seven years ago, and he was there with his wife and the car. And the car was terrific. That's a Subaru powered one, though. It's a Subaru powered one. They're wonderful. They're, they're just fun. And you know, if you're going to go for summertime fun, you're not going to beat uh, Myers Manx. And I think I want to recommend this story to everybody to read it. Rich Seppos has a story up on the uh, on the site right now about uh, his the his, the Myers Banks he built when he was a kid in upstate in uh, I think on Long Island, and uh, you know there's Bruce getting out of his uh, own gold car. I mean not Bruce. I mean there's Rich. Who's the man with the red pants or the sandals? That's quite the look. <laughs> that's Long <laughs> Island style, baby. That was uh, yeah. I, think, I think that's I think that's Good early fellas. 1970s <laughs> early 1970s chic in Long Island. Pop that that. Yeah, and here's here's he has a copy of the of the that patent is, here, which is really cool. It's a really neat story. And Rich is, you know, as everybody knows, Rich is a fine writer. Yeah, no, this is all great, Pearly, but we don't know that yours is a Manx. A real I don't care. Manx. I'm more. It's a Myers Manx. It's five grand over budget. You know, look, <laughs> if I'm going to judge my life by the failures on this program, I'm fine. <laughs> great, I'm fine. Great. That that is bingo with with Pearly's disclaimers after the fact for why. He doesn't have anything but you I, can vote for. I will say five grand on a dune buggy is within negotiating range. I Thank would you. think so, yeah. I think it is. And and uh, you can find them on but you can find them on Craigslist in great condition for eight grand. No, you can't. I did. I almost that's why that's why I have this. Not, one not, here. Not, 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 well, not not one that's that's that nice. You don't want one that's that nice. You want one that you can beat up. Not no. one with teardrop taillights. Oh, um, <laughs> you know. Now, you know you can get that in the format aisle at AutoZone, some teardrop tail lights. <laughs> but well, thank you. Every, thank the, you the entire, the the end, they're the we, aisle cap. The entire point of buying, buying a car like this is to use as many AutoZone pickup parts as you can possibly. If you, there should be at least 60% of the parts you put on this thing should have come out of a blister pack. I got to well, take, I I love, I take I this. At least Pearly has stepped up from Pet Boys to AutoZone. I think I appreciate the, the move. Well, I gotta take, Weather, maybe WeatherTech makes mats for this. I hope. Well, WeatherTech, WeatherTech makes mats for everything. Okay. <laughs> we, I think WeatherTech they, might make a whole tub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a uh, we had a videographer who bought a dune buggy as his primary car in Michigan. That's right, Casey. And yeah, and Mark Arnold. Uh, I I hope he's watching. Um, he was an absolute savage for driving that thing around in the winter. I mean, he had I mean, no doors, no nothing. He would get all bundled up. Was, uh, it was, his was not a Manx. Um, I don't know what it was, but it had a, a, a beer keg uh, that oh. was used as a gas tank. That That's was, awesome. Well, Casey, also, remember he had the exhaust was just the single outlet exhaust that was vertical. And so he'd yep. have to put a coffee cup on it when it rained so rain wouldn't go back down into the engine. <laughs> yeah, he needed a flapper for it. I, 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 I can all of you guys honestly tell me that you wouldn't want to have this car. I mean, I've driven them. They're not that great to drive, to be honest. What's your point? What's your point? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold I mean, on, Tony. You said, you said it was a great house... car. You said it was a great car when you tested it. Oh, that one. That was a Subaru one that was like perfectly <laughs> dialed in. That was like the best Manx ever built. Ah. Yeah. Regular ones with VW engines. Eh, they're kind of yeah. crappy. I rented one of these in the Bahamas when I was like 16 and uh, that's about the only place I'd ever want to drive one. Well, man, you guys had such different upbringings than I did. I want to say stuff like that. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever Torino. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Jonathan, Jonathan every, every week we get a new insight into your upbringing and it's always something like, I remember when I was 14, I was going to junior high school in Yugoslavia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's because that's I couldn't afford the Bahamas. That's why. Yeah. That's where you went when you couldn't afford the Bahamas. All right, Pearl, your time is up. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, now I've got to find, now I've got to find I do, out. I do like the, the car, Pearly. I do like 
Got it. I like the car. Fun convertible yeah. to own, yes. And you know, and the, and the good thing, it's, it's not really a convertible, it's just an open car. But the other thing is, is that what, it's, what I like, the temptation is just to buy a, buy a Myers Banks kit and build it the way you want it. Yeah. And uh, you know that, that would that would be probably way more be... than twenty thousand dollars. Which what's your point? Business. I don't get. I don't. I don't get your point. You know, I'm sorry, Tony. You're just lost on me. I don't. I don't All right, uh, you're done. You're done for now. Uh, Joe, you want to go next? See what you brought. Yeah. I apologize for uh, my daughter who is running around screaming in the background, but she <laughs> loves this show. So. I couldn't hear anything. Yeah. No, that's I was, fine. I, was, I can't hear anything over Pearly screaming and running around. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to share. But before I do, are you going to show us a car not to buy? Did you ever think? Did you ever think that under twenty thousand dollars, you could basically get a McLaren? What? Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> now, by my math, because ASC, the American Sunroof Corporation slash American Specialty Cars, did the ASC McLaren on the Fox body, this ASC converted 1989 Dodge Dakota Sport is basically a McLaren pickup truck. <laughs> I, I don't, that's not. With no, with no, absolutely no ties to Wokey. <laughs> more, there's more ties to the McLaren strollers, I think. So yeah. is this, is this is your reasoning for choosing this? Yeah, well, no. My reason for choosing this is right there in front of you. That's yeah. amazing. Awesome. You never see these things. All right. Mm. This is now, I know story. that the people who know about cars from car and driver or whatever would say there's a reason they only made less than 3,000 of these <laughs> and that the numbers they produce dropped precipitously in each of its three years of production. But how can you not love this car? Um, I was looking into the engine. So this all of the uh, Dodge Dakota Sports, which were made from 89 through 91, were converted by ASC to this convertible spec. They have sweet, sweet... Look at that. That's, that's basically animated. That's um, awesome. You never yeah. see them with the top up. That's kind of a cool shot. They look good. Um, the interior is really nice too. Under the hood is the Dakota V6. It's the LA engine from Chrysler. I was trying to figure out if there was anything I could say about this engine. And the best thing I found came from the comments that said, it's basically a 318 cubic inch V8 with two cylinders lopped off. So it's great. And everybody knows that when you cut two cylinders off of an engine, instead of engineering a new engine from the ground up, you get incredible performance <laughs> at 125 horsepower. Um, came with a manual. This one is not a manual. How much is it? This one is it an auction beautiful. and it's currently at 15K. Okay. <laughs> I've also these were, these were pretty, pretty stiff, weren't they? Like no, no cow shake, no, no vibrations. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, they're perfect cars. It's basically a Michigan. Just check it. This one has forty-two thousand miles indicated, but also comes with paperwork showing the odometer has been replaced. Look at that red line. It's like a and, and a full tank of gas. Yeah, and that's a that's a Corolla interior right there. It's nice and red right. and clean. It's beautiful. How can you not love that cup holder? Original <laughs> radio too. Oh, you are yeah. driving around with the top down in the spring. Oh my god! You got a full load of lumber. In the back, it's maybe going to hit you in the head. E, a full load? Okay. A load. A load. Two by four. Like, like three two by fours yeah. is what we're saying. We don't want to overdo it. Um, okay. <laughs> but so I actually have a serious reason for, for recommending this car. Um, you do not see them in this condition anymore. No, it's beautiful. It's no, beautiful. yeah. And I give the V6 for the condition. Yeah. Not only do you not see them in this condition, you just don't see them. Yeah, I no. was going to say. I mean, I mean, I, I think I've seen one of these on the road in, in my life. I've street spotted a couple. I was really into them when I lived in California and almost bought one. You um, They're awesome. But yeah, I mean. Nah, awesome. You don't mean that. I, I, they're basically a Jeepster, right? Like if you look at them. Um, they came in four-wheel drive or in rear-wheel drive. You get them in stick. This one's an auto. Um, I mean, finding the configuration you want, good luck. Um, but this one, I mean, even look underneath the bed. They repainted the bed because the owner didn't uh, love what happened after she had a spray-in bed liner installed. How many miles are on it? So they this removed the spray-in bed liner and then repainted? Yeah. Whoa. It, it said for, the odometer has been changed, though, Tony. So it says 42-something. 
Yeah, the paperwork says it was changed at 7,000. Okay. Uh, because the odometer was clicking. So it's like basically a 50,000 mile. Well, this was back in the time when Chrysler wasn't even attaching the odometers and they just drive the cars around a bunch and then attach the odometers. There was a little problem with that. <laughs> Imagine you are pulled up in front of some place where you're actually able to see people again. <laughs> like like uh, Cooters? Like Florida? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Where, where, where are you taking this, Joe? Take it to the where, drive -in. What's your, what's your special day out once I the think, world opens up again? You yeah. know, drive-in is a really good call on this one. Drive-in movie. I mean, pickup truck drive-in is a is a perfect combination. Well, you've already got the bed for that. Why do you need a convertible? So you can reach into the back of that sweet cup holder. Yeah. <laughs> where are you gonna keep? Where are you gonna put your empties? <laughs> on the on the ground. <laughs> That's what you have a bed for. Pick a person for. Joe, no, well, and you have to have, if you, it, it just, uh, if you ever do go to a, uh, a, a drive in now, you have to take an old car because you essentially can't turn lights off in a new car. And uh, mm -hmm. it, always, it always interrupts the movie. That's my. You are absolutely on. right. Drive in. That's why this is the perfect car. Um, is there, Joe, is there a window know. sticker? There's a window sticker photo. What did this thing cost new? Like 16 grand. Someone's got to do the math on that. What's that? It'd be in, like uh, thirty-three thousand now, about thirty-four thousand, somewhere in there. Just a little over double in thirty years. Wow, still a bargain. It said, uh, "I cannot really read that." That's not it. No, there was no, another one. It's a like a dot matrix up printer. Up yeah, there's a Monroni somewhere up high. There you go. That's the fuel account. Okay. Yeah, eighteen thousand two hundred eighty-nine dollars. Mm. With the the Dakota Sport convertible package, you got the better interior. You got a body kit with Bosch fog lights. And you got a manually retractable convertible top. Yeah, and I think that blacked out grill, which looks really cool, was part of that too, maybe. <laughs> I really how, feel like how, this is the kind of car say, that ends up being worth a lot of money. How much did you say it was back in the on this figure price? 18 something? 18,000. Yeah. It's cool. Three mm -hmm. nine. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a good find. V6 was a three nine, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the 3.9. Um, 125 horsepower had the same bore and stroke obviously as the 318 has there um, been a um convertible pickup since ssr oh yeah. that's right ssr that so was like the model a runabout and then maybe you count the jeepster was, yeah, there, a studebaker? was there a studebaker pickup that was uh, i don't think so Maybe I don't think so. Though. And so, Joe, Joe, is that your bid at fifteen grand? Is that your bid? <laughs> Want to buy a sob <laughs> like right now? Because this auction ends in twenty-three hours. We can work this out. I think mm. you should buy this and then worry about selling the sob. <laughs> I can't go back to nineteen eighty-nine in my and uh, to recall this. By the way, in nineteen eighty-nine, eighteen thousand dollars is down worth thirty-nine thousand three hundred seventy. And um. But the go. uh, you could get this with a V8 engine, in it, could you? It was, it was, yeah, it was, no. you, you could you get this with the 5.2? Nope, you could only get it with the 3.9. Uh -huh. You could only get it with the 3.9, so you could not get the V8. So that's just begging for a swap, then. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's begging for things. I don't know if a swap is what it's, is what it's yeah. begging for. I think the V8 was just too powerful and it would twist the open frame. The open I was going to say, if you like LS swap this thing, you would end up with a car that had two bottoms. I would, yeah. I would Hellcat swap it. Yeah, you want to help you. you yeah, want just go, yeah, just go bananas and make it a total sleeper. <laughs> Keep like the stock wheels and tires on it. Yeah, and stock brakes because, you know, God knows if you're going to drive it once you want to die. And then just use white out to fill out the, the gap in the six to make it an eight. But, you know, the, the, I, the only thing is, is that if I was going to buy a, a, a Dakota of this vintage, I think I'd want a Shelby Dakota. Yeah, that was that came out, I think, in 92, right? Yeah, but yeah. probably that's not a convertible. I don't but care. You could take it to ASC. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking about, you know, you, I, I don't You couldn't get a Shelby convertible, though. You couldn't get a Shelby. No. You know, if I was going to get a pickup of this era, I'd want a Lamborghini LMO. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> got good tires. All right. Yeah, this is, this is okay. my car. Thank you, Joe. That's good a good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Oh, good find. You've used your time off from the show very wisely. <laughs> I've been hanging out at Hemmings looking for a for a Dakota Sport to pop up. All right, Jonathan, you want to go next? I have I no next. idea what you uh, So I will I will admit I'm not really into convertibles. Uh the only place I like to drive them 
is in Europe. So if I were going to get a convertible, I would wait, get wait, that. wait, wait, wait. You got to pause um, because you break it. You're breaking my balls over talking about go to the Bahamas. And you're like, I only drive convertibles. Hold here. on, but that I said, but that was that was the upbringing. I couldn't go to Europe until I had I had uh, gotten out of my. Can, uh, can you just give us like a cheat sheet with your upbringing so we can actually chart this? Because I swear to God, yeah, no. it changes every week. I was uh, I was born uh, a poor black child. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, you you have my attention. So, Wait. This would be in America. This is what I would get. Uh, as a convertible, not a convertible. You can take the top off. No, you can't. You can take the. I vote part that off. this is a convertible. What? I vote it converts. You can unbolt it. You can unbolt it. Yeah, but well, there's, this there's, is what I would buy. There's no sky above you. That's my definition of convertible. Really? Really? Well, there's it, doesn't, sky it, doesn't, above count, it doesn't count if it's just behind you, like on your your high six o'clock. <laughs> I mean, that's a land out. That's, Look, that's it. It's a land down. Some of us are so tall, we have to move the seats all the way back. And for mm. us, that's a convertible. Uh, Jonathan, yeah. are you that tall? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know people. I'm going to use the joke. I know people who are that tall. Uh, well, then, uh, then uh, that's my car. How that's old is this? Alpha? Alpha. It's an Alpha? Beautiful. Yes. Nice. A Brea Spider. Is that what that is? Can you bring um, it? Is it 20? It's not 25 years old yet. No, um, but I would, since I'm only going to drive it in Europe, I. Oh, that's right. But this one is the forbidden fruit kind of thing that you can't get here. This is a diesel manual alpha. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> but, but that's also the thing that. You I shouldn't have them. translated that part of the ad. Yeah, <laughs> two wrongs do not make a right here. Oh my goodness. But this, look, you're in small villages, you're cruising through the south of France. It's the speed beautiful. limit's 30 kilometers an hour. Like what, what do you really need? That interior is gorgeous. Yeah, there's, there, there's nothing real more romantic than putting the top down so you can hear the clatter of that diesel engine <laughs> more yeah, clearly than it. ever before. And smell it. And, we, we, and smell it too. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's a comprehensive sensory experience of absolute horror. That's what Alpha provides. Yeah. And, are those five lug those rims those are great it's a pretty car it's just it's just that i just don't know if, you, if you're gonna get a car that pretty and you're gonna restrict yourself to driving it in europe and it's front wheel drive yeah it's front drive but you again find the drive. What's this, not, what is this called is this just an alpha spider is this just an alpha male spider yeah i think it's just the I've, spider the yeah. other ones i saw was just alpha spider you're way under budget that's good exactly i have enough for business class tickets to and from I can have a... Once. You, f you fly business class? You don't just take your own plane? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, yeah, this is what I would buy if I was forced to get a convertible with... I could see the sun over my head. That's not... Nice. 20 grand. In That's, Europe. You can't even bring it to Canada. Canada has the 15-year rule. So one more year, you could bring it to Canada and enjoy it in Canada. Oh, then I'm set. But I and I've got plenty of money to, to make that happen. Okay. Well, I, I think you, I think you could import it and just drive it on your giant spread of land in Kentucky. Yeah. See, I don't think I don't think Alphas like uh, land in Kentucky. You could petition for a, for a show and display exemption. It is very pretty. I mean, park it park it next to my F1. <laughs> yeah. Next year, next year, park, park it between your F1 and your 959. <laughs> exactly. Where you keep your plane. So yeah, that's my. If I if I had to get something here, I'd probably go for the 911 down there. But again, it's just so like, why do that when you could have this in Europe? The what down where? The 911 down there. Oh, right there. Okay. Well, oh, Jonathan, I think you're set if you're ever deported. <laughs> well, again, that, no. that depends on where they deport me. Is the uh, the issue with that one? Are you are you, are you, do you have any citizenship challenges we should know about? That's going to be. Nothing I can confirm nor deny. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you don't like my Bronco convertible, land out. Not a convertible. <laughs> I don't know. I think that Bronco is as much a convertible as the Manx is. Well, then a pickup truck whose rear window went down would be a convertible by that definition. No, oh, come on. A regular cab pickup truck whose rear window went down. Oh, no, a land out. A Landau is not even if it's a Landau. That's not just a window coming down. You know, you know, you know, you know. A truck has a window that goes down. No, no, mute him, mute him, mute him. <laughs> Don't let him say it again. 
<laughs> oh my, my tundra, and I had it down today. <laughs> All right, uh, Casey. You're the person. All right. Tundras. I'm kind of going off brand here. Um, Are you channeling Joey since he's not here? No, not quite that. Ooh, but uh, ooh, 65 ooh, Corvair. Ooh. Is that a Monza? Uh, yeah. Is nice. it a Monza? No, no, no. It's no? a it, nice. it's Corvair Corsa. So this is 140 horse. Um, you know, flat six, not very quick, but uh, <laughs> it is gonna look about, this, about one, as quick as a diesel manual alpha. Hey, at least this the, is rear wheel drive. Yeah, uh, this is this rear wheel drive. Come on, like you're really like you're really gonna tax a Corvair. Yeah, these Corvairs three. handle better than that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But, Thank uh, you. Thank you. This is the great. This is the great underrated design of the Bill Mitchell era. I just agreed. Think, beautiful 100 for car yeah no be, exactly beautiful car uh not uh, you know i'm not going to go very fast in it but uh i am going to enjoy it um <laughs> that, that makes two of us also i'm totally copying uh oh, wait a minute. Paul this... argument here but like you cannot hate on the corvair for what it was supposed to be like it was a legitimate like engineering big swing yeah. at a nicer version of the volkswagen beetle wait who but do, do people do people talk bad about the Corvair for what it was supposed to be or what it is? It wasn't as bad as no, Nader. They, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's Nader and, and, and all that and, but, you know, but unsafe also, at any speed. Star disaster. This, 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 is second gen, this is a second generation Corvair, which uh, had, I think it had a trailing arm rear suspension as opposed to the swing yep. arms that was in the first generation. The swing arms are what, the, what, what were the most brutal things that, about it was because the wheels would tuck down underneath it and right. flip the and car. Loaded it up, yeah. Yeah, and the fact you know it was a, it was an accident. The Raiders Raiders book was based on an accident that happened about a mile from where I'm sitting now in Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to have these charts here. If you look to your right, you yeah. Let me uh, let me just zoom out and uh, here we go. Let's, uh, That's your fault, Casey. I put the here we go. Let me uh, let me zoom back in. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh Ooh, my there goodness. it is. <laughs> hey, hey, Pearly, wave. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, so six, 65 Corvair. Yeah, this is, you're right. Uh, it is, it is the. Uh, is not, that color Bahama blue? Is that what that color is? I don't know. I'm not up on my, on my GM. Oh, yeah. I think that's Bahama blue. Oh, so. oh it's this, oh, this has multiple carbs on it though. So I guess that's been changed. Is that, does that have multiple carbs on it? Did you see the entry shot? Yeah, it has yeah, yeah. carbs. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's not a stock. Oh, clean. That's not yeah. stock. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, and and like I'm not really into. I'm not into like cars that are. I'm not into '60s cars. I'm into some of them, but never really wanting to own it. But like this is one I could see myself buying and and enjoying. Well, it's a pre-regulation car too, so the design is like so pure and, and good looking. Yeah, twenty nine thousand miles. What do you think of that? Yeah, no. Rolled well, over. easy. You can see the, the odometer is rolled over. So it's 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 uh you know. 129,000, but I mean that, it, you know, or clean. Clean. I mean, look at the sills. 129,000? I'm guessing it's 129,000. I mean, like they that. only had five figure Odos back then? Huh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. This guy either has stock in bonds. You think it's a million? 29,000? Uh, well, crazier things have happened. <laughs> uh, I don't not, think but I mean, not, not with a sill that looks like that. Yeah. Hmm. No, that's a, that's a clean car. It, 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 is it is it original condition or is it a restored condition car? Um, I'm guessing it's been painted. It's yeah, it's probably been painted. Um, but um, you know, it does not. It, I, if I'm remembering, this is one. I, there was actually I, I, there was another uh, Corvair I found that was. Can we see the engine again, Casey? The flat six. Yep. By the way, you know the thing. One of the nicest things about these, they're not very fast, but they sound wonderful. Yeah, the flat yeah. six is a cool, cool sound. Yeah, and they just... an air cool, yeah, an air cooled flat six. Yeah. I mean, look, just... how it, look at how it twists the the um, intake manifolds. Look at well, look at how it twists the belt to run the alternator off of the fan. I can't, I can't see what the linkage looks like as far as the carburetors go. I'm sure it's incredibly complex. Yep, but it's well, it's right here. I mean, yeah, yeah. let me right make it top. big. Yeah, it's oh, it that get... right there. Yeah. Right, connecting them. Yeah, that's, linkage. A, that's that's a you know it's, a, it's complex I mean, I mean the alternator is like you know perched out there like it's like for no you know, you, you know how you can tell it's not porsche 
they've put the battery back where oh. all the weight is instead of putting it in front. <laughs> is that the that's the only giveaway? <laughs> that, I'll look for that <laughs> next time I go. Jonathan so wins. Very much. Very Jonathan wins. Shopping. Uh, like, wait, how do I know this isn't a Porsche? <laughs> uh, you know, we suggested this was uh, this was the report of uh, when obviously the second second gen came out, um, and it should be that coupe has great lines. Such yeah. Lines, yeah, that's what I was when I it was uh, uh, what's that? It was uh, the Queen's Gambit. Um, the one friend has a has a beautiful uh, Corvair coupe in that. Oh yeah, yeah, it yeah. Sure. That much glass anymore. Just, just an astonishingly pretty car. I mean, it's so you know, it's got echoes of the Riviera and the Stingray. And Agreed. It is predates really cool. predates the Camaro, but it looks like you know, it, it's got it's just absolute Bill Mitchell at his peak. That's the I mean, turbo. This is yeah. So this is this is like 180 horse. So uh, 10 two to 60. So I'm I'm guessing uh, this car here is is significantly like 14, slower. 14, 13, 14. I was gonna say yeah, 14. Same day, there. same day acceleration. That's quick um, enough. It sounds good too. Sounds good. Looks good. Top goes down. Doesn't really go fast. If you're going too fast, they can't see you. That's that's true. And the other thing is, is that any arm looks good hanging on that door. Well, oh my God, do you hang your arm out the door, Pearly? No, but you know, look, you know, the, what, you know, here's the thing: is proportionally, what it is is that you sit far far enough back. Pearly, do you hang your arm out the door? Every day on every car. It's one of the <laughs> his, tund his tundra has a witness mark <laughs> on the paint. Oh my god! It's, I am a professional wow. automotive journalist. I have a, I have very strict procedures I go through, and the first thing I want to know is: Is my arm going to be comfortable hanging on the door? <laughs> and I'm like that's not just your answers. elbow that you put your whole arm out. Yes. I, if wow. I, I put every piece of my body that I can get outside of the car. I try and operate the car with as few body parts as possible. All right, Casey, you done? Yeah, I was just uh, admiring the front of that. I went, I went a bit more modern. I was tempted by... Yeah, pretty a bit more modern. Like 1968. <laughs> I was tempted by this. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's but awesome. No. I went with this. So I'm just under budget, 46,444 miles. This Ugh. is the first year of the... Uh, the three liter supercharged V6 in the like 330 horse, 333 horse, something like that. Yeah, 333 horsepower, 5.1 to 60, dual clutch. No manual was available, unfortunately. So it's dual clutch. I seven like speed dual combo. clutch, right? What's that? Seven speed dual clutch, right? Yeah, seven speed yeah. dual clutch. I like this color combo the tan, brownish on black. Very attractive car. This one happens to only have 46,000 miles. It has a new top. Mm -hmm. I think this is a weird shadow or the sun. I don't think it's that beat up. I hope it Wait, is. Keep scrolling. No. I don't know, no, 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 no. I don't know what it's happened. It's not a weird shadow. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I think that seat has been holding a large large carriage for a while. I think it's I think it's Tony's tradition of murder car. Somebody was murdered in it. Oh, stop. It is 46,000 miles. Clean title. Super clean. Oh, this, look, at, look at the passenger seat. Yeah, it's also... Hmm. No, that's just up here. It was, a, it was a double murder. I think just a little Lexol will uh, fix that all up. <laughs> and did you, did you source Lexol? <laughs> no, I didn't. I've got a bottle in the garage. It'll be fine. I don't, mm. it, you know, oh, the, the carbon fiber interior trim. Look at that wheel. Come on. Bang it all up then. B &O. Got yeah. the really nice stereo system. Does this have a Carfax on it, Tony? What's that, Pearly? Does this have a Carfax on it? Uh, I'll check. I, it, it's, I think it's a clean title, though. One owner. Can I, can I tell a funny story about this convertible top? Yes, you can. Uh, so, uh, Mike, uh, I think it was Mike Austin who went on the press launch of these. And at the time, like the, the three series uh, had gone to a retractable hard top. And uh, was it? And, and, and anyway, but and Audi, and it came up like, hey, why didn't you do a, a hard top? You know, that seems to be, you know, the, the top that you were. And um, Audi said, well, you know, our tops are actually really durable and they're, they're difficult to break into. Well, didn't and they also arrogantly say our customers don't live anywhere? Yeah, they were, they were like, yeah, uh, our cars don't get parked outside. Yeah, That was kind of like the, the, basically what they said. And, and so we said, okay, well, can we try and break into one? And they said, okay, and they sent us a car and it was like kitchen knife. 
like i mean it was like instantly inside it was like okay yeah we won't be we won't be covering this yeah, yeah no they were like yeah maybe you guys shouldn't write about this then <laughs> there's no story here yeah it was pretty funny so this one i think i couldn't tell what kind of tires it was on but since i can negotiate down a little i'm gonna go to the tire rack and get myself <laughs> wait how much how a thousand how much you think you're negotiating at least 500 and then i'll, I'll buy these i'll be at i'll be i'll negotiate enough so i can buy new tires for it <laughs> you know after you know, tax title this is like you know, this is like lemons rules tires brakes safety equipment do not count towards <laughs> Hold on. Do you, do you really like this car, Tony? Because you don't think this car is boring? No, like, it's not boring. These are pretty so fun. Bored by this car. Ugh. Dual clutch, like, all-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah this well, one's got all seasons. I think that's a... Uh, come on. It, but it's, but not too that's, excited. That looks like a winter tire. It's if, a Continental. You, it's that all-season Continental, I think. If you drop dead tomorrow, Tony, I'm burying you inside a Pilot Sport 4S. This is, I mean, but though this is, this is like the generation after Audi, like went from, you know, S fours were, were on par with, with M threes to where S kind of dropped a, a layer down right. in, in the performance. Right. Or in RS came up. Yeah. And then, and then more, yeah, there were, there were a lot more. I mean, RS okay. Models. So this car is quicker than all of your cars. <laughs> well, well, hold on, hold on. Better no one buys a convertible. No one buys a convertible for that. No one yes, buys a convertible. But I do. But I do. No. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, wait. How, how quick are your two convertibles that you own? They're slower than this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, mine, yeah, they are slower. What's, what's Thank the you. Deal, what's, what's the deal with, uh, you know, what's, is, yes, is, this one of the, is this one of the Audis that explodes upon contact with air? Or is this like a one that's relatively reliable? Explodes on contact wow. with air? This yeah. is no, I think that's no, I think that engine, I think that that uh, supercharged V6 is pretty reliable. Yeah, this doesn't have any of the problems of the V8. It doesn't have, no, doesn't have it's DC. Got neck warmers. None of your cars have neck warmers. This is by far the best to, convertible. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Tony and say that like once we, you know, spend the 5K that I'm under on my Dakota on the LS swap. Yeah. You're going down. I mean, look, yeah, I would, I would take that the McL Joe's McLaren as is yeah. over this. <laughs> No, you're yeah. never going to get that Dakota to hook up with whatever engine. This is all-wheel drive, 5.1 to 60, 13.6 uh, at 103 in the quarter. I'll but be running mostly, nines. Who's like trying nine to do that? The, if you wanted to go that fast, you would get a coupe. Like, if you wanted okay, to do Okay, that, but I have the option to go that fast. You do not. I don't, see, I don't need it because I'm that good looking. But I don't <laughs> have to. Why I don't have to if I don't want to. But then if I want to go fast, oh, I can. Man. Did, did I mention that three members of my HOA board drive Audis? Well, I'm going to join your HOA board of beautiful Audi. Make... I applied to join already. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, this is actually, and this, uh, uh, I cut one of these superchargers in half. And if uh, we were back in our office, I would show you, I still have the, um, uh, the, the, the supercharger. Um, we, the, the rotors. Oh, right, 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 right. Did right. you take it out uh, of the car? No, no, uh, uh, Audi. Yeah, Eat, Eaton sent it to us. Oh. And, um, and I remember at the time uh, they were saying, so these had, uh, the, one of the big things uh, about that engine, uh, they went to uh, electronically controlled uh, bypass mm. on the supercharger and all the tuners, all they were doing was just programming that bypass to stay shut. And it was, it was instead of 333, it was like 450 horsepower. Mm. Um, I could so. go even faster if I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe quicker. I don't you know don't, if they were. You don't, I don't you know if they were have money to go faster, Tony. And look at this. You get an one email owner, too. I have one owner, clean title, garage kept, beautiful car. They I, they were right. They're kept <laughs> in the garage. <laughs> so now we've come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and crown a winner, Mr. Huffman. What I think I, I think everybody loves the Myers Banks. You're going to give me. Oh yeah. Universal credit. Okay, wait. Even though we don't know if it's a Myers Banks, oh, and it's Jonathan, also our budget. Jonathan, just still, look, 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 look. There's a thumbs up. There's a thumb up. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, sideways. What am I voting on? The um, unknown Myers Banks that's over budget. <laughs> the Volkswagen Dune buggy. To, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to Pearly for his vote. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, yeah. We're just giving uh, thumbs up or thumbs up. What did you think of the the not a Myers Manx? Just like might be a Myers. I'm kind of going I'm oh. to thumbs down you, but um, Over I just budget. don't think it's technically a convertible. 
Oh, it doesn't convert. That's right. No, it doesn't. You can get a top form. You can have tops on. I didn't it's... see a top in your listing. Man, it's a, it's a no, look, we're, we're sticklers for rules this week, Pearly. We can't. Sorry. No. This, All right, Pearly. What was your favorite car? Well, you know, I the the Audi just has that sort of University of Miami sorority girl vibe to it that I just couldn't go for. Um, wait, wait, Miami of Ohio or or Florida of Miami? <laughs> the U. I have a question. I just want to clear it up. Good okay. question. Maybe maybe different. It could be both. It could be. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Really I don't know. The red, the red Hawks get down, so I'm good. <laughs> but I no, the, 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 the vehicle the vehicle I would actually see myself driving and actually enjoying quite a bit is actually uh, Corvair. Of course. He's going to park it next to his 7 liter Galaxy and his Impala SS. So <laughs> $20,000 Galaxy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you guys just, you know, the thing is that I know that you guys think that history started in 1980. Oh my God. That's not true. I almost presented a 47 Lincoln. Anyway. Know, but, but apparently, apparently there's a bias here that comes from youth. And uh, you guys all have it. Uh, guys. I don't think that's correct. Anyway, the most, no. the most oppressed man on YouTube. The Dakota, <laughs> the Dakota convertible. Again. The, Hardy you, thumbs up. Hardy you got, thumbs up. We're going to Dakota, Pearly. We've moved on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta give Rare. that. I gotta give that a. a Why? Size. Look at it. It's incredible. Oh my! God. The rare, I mean, rarity alone. I mean, uh, yeah. It's so wonderful. Look, look when, hold on. When Pearly screams about rarity, no one's like, "Yeah, the rarity. That's the thing. R rarity has so, never." But, but, but the rarity of a, of, a, of a seven liter galaxy. I mean, there's there's ten thousand other not seven liter galaxies that look identical. Right. That's not true. That's a <laughs> look at it. It's gorgeous. I mean that's come on. I would never, I would never, ever, ever probably live in the same neighborhood. I think I think uh, the best thing about this is you get all the convert you get all yeah. that verbal enjoyment plus you can run a pool cleans business out of the back of the the mayor from of the you. south bank of the Ohio River. <laughs> <laughs> look We'll discuss this later. <laughs> that, was a, that was a low blow. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> All right, Joe. What was your favorite car? Which of the which of the other cars are you buying? Um, I I, I thought that Corvair was beautiful. Oh wow, Casey, <laughs> not looking good for the S five. All right, Jonathan. Do you want us to judge the Alpha or the car that isn't a convertible? Well, we, we can't judge the car if it's not a convertible. So I would like you to judge my manual diesel overseas alpha. I love it. it. Wait a second, wait a I love it too. I love it too, even if I would have to buy it and sit on it for 10 years. Even I, if I, I have I, to go to for, Italy and drive it. On, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the simple basis that it's not eligible to operate in the United States and therefore is not, in fact, a real car. <laughs> Well, right. You just John busted us for history? The, you just gave us a history lesson? And now you're going to say... Let's petition. Let's petition to get that thing on show and display. And I'm uh, I'm giving it a thumbs down out of pure spite and revenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe. Now you're a member of our cast. That is how yeah, you do yeah, it. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's how the game is played. That is how you do you it. You just opened up a spite store right next door to Jonathan. <laughs> I, I understand completely. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. What's your favorite? Uh, that Audi S5 is beautiful, and you can drive it in this country. But Even it's, if you voted the, against it before, you could nominate the Dakota Sport here. It's true. Ooh. Right. <laughs> oh, are maybe I need to talk to my attorney, if you'll give me just one moment. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the Audi is too boring. Uh, the boring? Boring. Oh, my God. Look, it's, it's a beautiful design. It's so right. boring. Right. Um, the Corvair doesn't interest me at all. Uh, and the, the Manx, which I would love to vote for, but it's not a convertible, apparently. It is. Apparently, it's not a convertible. You can vote for it if you want. Um, come on, Jonathan. Come back to come back to that. <laughs> I am actually look, even though, even though I would never, ever, ever have anything to do with it, just because someone's like, hey, I want something cool and different and a convertible truck, I gotta I'm gonna go with the Dakota. <laughs> Yeah. Thumbs down. Yeah. You know, look, that's my that's my that's my Cutlass Supreme. Don't get it. <laughs> but if if you're that person, then yeah, that's All a right. list. Casey, you're up. <laughs> Corvair. Thumbs up. Beautiful Corvair. How can you not love that car? It's just oh, come on. 
it's it's one of the, one of the great sculptures of the 1960s. I mean, yeah, I don't the Carrera. It's not it's not even the it's modern. Not even look, the, it's not even good looking to me. It's not even wow. a good looking car to me. Oh, Jonathan, that's Jonathan, surprising. Jonathan, All right, Jonathan, Casey. therapy for Jonathan. <laughs> Casey, I mean, what's your favorite? I, I mean, I, I, my my favorite uh, is the Alpha. That's not a real car. <laughs> I mean, that's I, I, it's it's that's a that's a that's a beautiful convertible. I what a show! Everybody, everybody what a show! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Audi yeah. S5, most horsepower, quickest, dual clutch, heated. <laughs> Neck heat, heated seats and neck warmer. Most likely to be mistaken for a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> Ocean Boulevard. Wow. Oh, Pearly's oh, going thumbs oh, down because he sees too many of them. <laughs> this is oh. like when I didn't win. When I didn't win with that beautiful nine nine seven. Pearly's like, no, I see him everywhere. <laughs> Pearls before swine. Pearls before swine. All right. Uh, my. No, I'll give you a thumbs up on it. All right, thank you. That's a good convertible. Oh, you already won, basically, I think. It's a good yeah. convertible. No, well, that's the other reason I believe for the truck. Pick, pick, pick the dune buggy. Pick the dune buggy, Tony. You know that's what you want. No, you're over budget. I don't care. You know that you want the dune buggy. <laughs> but I care, and, it's, and I'm the one. And it's not a Myers. Uh, Probably how not. How do you know? Myers. Just because it says it may be a Myers Banks, you don't know. It's not. They would be telling you it was, and it would have a badge. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to go with. The, the Alpha, Dakota, for sure. Is that a what? tie? <laughs> oh wow! I like you're it making it a tie. Wow! The tie. We have another tie. Yeah. Joe and Casey win. I, I love those Dakotas. Who, who 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 did who voted for anything? What was the one vote that was not for the Dakota or the uh, Corvair? Uh, Casey voted for the um, Alpha. Alpha. Okay. If 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 it was, I think we'd do a tiebreaker here, where we have Casey choose between the Dakota and the Corvair. The Corvair. Wait, no, he can't choose for his own car. I, no, he can't. What do you know? That's not Casey, that Casey, work. Casey wins. Casey wins. <laughs> oh my God. No, that's no. what would happen if you hosted the show. It would be. <laughs> if I was going to go sec, if I was, if, if you, if, if we were going to say the alpha was absolutely uh, not eligible, I probably would have, um, I probably would have said that, that I probably would have gone, well, I don't know what I would have gone with. S5. I, uh, me, probably not. <laughs> I probably would have gone with the dune. I probably would have gone with the dune buggy. I probably would have gone with the dune buggy. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, if it was if it was in budget, and you know, well, then it's a tie. It's a tie. Dakota. A tie. Yeah, it's a tie. It's a tie. It's fine. Dakota and Corvair. Isn't that isn't that two weeks in a row? Two weeks yeah. in a row, we have a tie. Should, should we have a should we have like a shootout or something like in the? Oh NHL? my god! Can we do yeah. it in one minute so that I can go take over as a childcare? We're done. Show is over. We're done. The show is over. We're going to find an awesome uh, uh, ASC commercial for that Dakota. There's <laughs> got to so. be one. There, right. There's got to be. That brings us to the end of the show. Um, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and please subscribe. And we will see you all next week. Thanks, Joe. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Chevrolet's new breed of cat for 65. The all-new Corvair. Sleek new style here. Corvair 65. Graceful new style here. Corvair 65. Longer, wider, roomier, sportier than ever. New international style. Yet the same Corvair scat. Corvair 65. Clings to the road like it had claws. Cat quick agility. Rear engine swiftness, sleek, steel muscle, agile, Corvair for 65, an exciting breed of car at your Chevrolet dealers now.